Hello and welcome to Cookie Composites. My name's Jeremy. We've decided to put together a few short videos to help showcase some of our new products and also give a general overview and maybe show you some of the things you didn't know about our existing range of helmets and accessories. Today I'd like to present to you the new Sony CX100 camera cage. Now this cage is machined from one piece of solid billet aluminium the philosophy really with this cage was to make a smaller compact cage as possible without allowing you to get at as many features as possible. The cage weighs 180 grams, is 63 millimeters wide, 67 high and 110 millimeters long. Some of the features include the ability to get at the screen here open and flip the screen. You can obviously get at the ports and the features that are underneath the screen. We've got a rubber locking tab here that when in the down position stops the screen from accidentally opening in free fall. You pull the tab back up into this slot here and that allows you to flip the screen open again. You can remove and replace the battery while the camera's in the cage. There's a space to flip the HypoD Pro flap there and also make the HypoD Pro into the camera. We've got a 50 by 50 hole pattern if you want a side mount. Because the camera slides in from the front, you can use whichever size lens you like. We've also made a snag-free design. It's closed off on all four corners, which gives you better snag-free protection than an L-bracket or a C-bracket. Now for mounting this onto a helmet, we've used the flat lock here. You can basically use a flat lock and mount it to any helmet that takes the flat lock in our range. And those are the Ozone, the Rock, the MXV, and also, if you prefer a full face, the gas. If you prefer to side mount, it really does bring up only one limitation, and that is the HypoD Pro. Because the camera slides in from the front, you can't mate the HypoD Pro into the camera before you slide the camera into the box. You can, however, there are a couple of options. Make this hole in your helmet, put the camera into the cage, do the camera up, and then mate the HypoD Pro from the inside of the helmet. It's not a bad option if you only need to do it once a day. Other option is to not use a HypoD Pro. This camera will work with the screen closed and without a HypoD Pro. Now if you have any other questions regarding the camera cage or any of our products, please drop us an email at sales at cookiecomposites.com. You can find out prices and other information at cookiecomposites.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you again soon.